Hey everyone, it's Desiree. It is day seven of the Christmas series for 2020 here at Include a Thank You. And I do hope that you are enjoying it so far. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I really do enjoy digging um, into the stash um, and seeing what we can create, whether it's a simple card or whether it's a technique um, or something different with paper. So for day seven, we are going to focus on lawn fun. And I know some of you are probably like, wow, she's never done that before. Um, I do love lawn fun, um, but I certainly fell in love with this stamp set. And this stamp set, as I'm paging through my papers here, is called Snow Much Fun. And we are going to use the dies with this as well, as long with the winter perfectly plaid. I did dig into my stash of my um pattern paper there and i'm also going to be using the waving pull tab for this set as well now i'm gonna i wanted to try something different so you're literally going to watch this unfold <laughs> i thought <laughs> i said oh how difficult could it be <laughs> well <laughs> we did it we did it one of the things that I absolutely love about Lawn Fawn is their interactive um, dies and their stamp sets that go with it. It's just ingenious with what they come up with. And for me, sometimes intimidating. Um, but this, this Snow Much Fun, I mean, these bears, the main bear can be done three different ways. So you can have the bear holding something. And again, it's all with the dies as well. Um, or you can ha just have the bear with the the arms coming out by the way that it's stamped and they're there so he's excited or by stamping the arms separately like I did here on this we're gonna make them wave who doesn't enjoy making a snow angel come on this it's, I am 52 years old and I still enjoy making a snow angel. I know, I drive my husband crazy, you know, jumping into the leaves. He solved that problem. He had somebody else take care of the leaves this year. So I didn't get to jump into the leaves. I didn't want to make them upset, although it was tempting. But anyway, okay, back to the card. So again, always with my videos, I'm showing everything. I'm keeping everything in, all of the coloring, um, the things that I really want you to say without making my camera shake too much, like the die cutting, sometimes that just makes it shake. So I am keeping all of this in. So here I've pulled out my Prismacolor colored pencils and I am going to color, of course, my images. I took care of the scarf there that's gonna be for the little bear. And for that, I did use a light and a very dark blue. Again, to get that contrast, but you can see just from those two colors, even though it's light to really dark, you can see I still am able to get that gradual pull. I am using Nina Solar White cardstock here, which is not my favorite for colored pencils. And I'm not saying that you can't use it. You certainly can. I find the pencil really glides because it's a smooth cardstock. I mean, very much so. Again, we primarily use it for alcohol markers um, so that we can get those blends. It's really good for alcohol markers. For colored pencils, I really do like to have a paper that has a tooth. Okay, now it doesn't mean that it has to physically be rough. I do enjoy using watercolor Pence, uh, watercolor paper and Bristol paper, the rough side, and my watercolor would be cold press. Um, but it's just got to have that mixed media texture. My favorite is the Strathmore mixed media, and it comes in toned tan, toned blue, and toned gray. I wish they had a white in it because, hello, I would love it. And I'm sure it's out there. I just haven't found it yet. Um, but I just feel that the pencils, they glide. Now, by using this cardstock, I do find I can get a light touch because that's what you want to do. You do want to have a light touch when it comes to colored pencils because once you filled in that tooth, you are unable to add more color. What happens is 
since Prismacolors are wax pencils and any color pencil, whether it's the Faber Castells or the Prisma, it what happens is they I believe they if I remember they call it it blooms, and what happens is you filled in the tooth and then you get that waxy coating just going across it. You can see I like to use the pencils to blend to get my dimension or I'll use a blender pencil. I very rarely will use a solvent. Um, I do have the Gamzol. I do, would rather use the baby oil. I don't know, Gamzol, odorless, shouldn't use it because you can't breathe. I don't know, it just freaks me out. So, but it is something that you can use. Now that my images are colored, um, I am going to die cut. So you can see for my arms, I've got these two dies for that, okay? And you can see that it's not covering the whole area, and that's okay. There's a reason for that. We are going to make the interactive bear, which is going to be absolutely adorable. So I have my paper cut down. <coughs> now you can see, <laughs> this is where it gets fun. You can see that I started doing the die cutting ahead of time, and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, no, people need to see this. <laughs> So I'm going to real quick put this together. I wanted him to be in a snow bank, a snow hill, um, making a snow angel. So you can see, uh, not at the top. So you want to make sure that when you have your pages where they are, you take that top piece along the top of the cardstock, and then you take that plastic piece in between that smaller square piece down below, because that's going to cut your two notches. And then you can see I have the notch up at the top. And it's kind of cool that it's got the stitching on it because I used their stitched hill die for that. So now I'm going to cut the strip, the mechanisms. So there's a wrap around and there's a strip there. Now the strip is going to be longer and it already has the hole. So I'm gonna use one of my very small brads um, that's what you do want to use. I'm going to grab those two arms, making sure that when it die cuts it, it puts the hole in an X. You want to make sure that the X is at the top, okay, where the pull mechanism is, all right? You don't want it going to the bottom. So you can see I've got these two arms. Now, could you imagine if you just let it like that? Oh, no! I'm behind the scenes. I'm waving my arms. <laughs> we have to have fun, right? Let's have some fun. So now I have that piece. So I die cut from gray cardstock. The piece that comes with it, it's a, it has a cute little tiny arrow, so it'll help the recipient to know, pull this. And then you'll be able to make that work. Now you can also recut it again so that you can put another color in the triangle, but I was okay with it being white. Now you have this wraparound piece. It comes scored, so you just have to fold on the scored lines. I'm going to place that down. I am using my liquid glue, and then you want to fold it over. So you're gluing it to the back and then gluing it over the flap so that when you pull this, it's going to move inside that chamber. Okay, so I, I hope I'm making this make sense. Lawn Fawn shows it so much better. I'm going to use my... Um, double-sided foam tape and you can see I keep pulling and making that shorter because again usually you're putting this onto a four and a quarter by five and a half panel on the front of your card um, and then you don't have any issues me I've got to be different and difficult but it worked I'm using my double-sided foam tape because you do want this panel propped up because that's going to help the mechanism to you to move by using the brad that is smooth, that's going to help making it slide up and down the cardstock as well. Of course I forget to ink my snowdrift, or hill, whatever we want to call it. So I real quick pulled out my Gina K Ocean Mist um, ink, and I'm using one of my blending brushes from Tailored Expressions. And I'm just going around the edges just to make sure um, that I have some dimension on that hill. 
I'm going to stamp my, I actually remember to stamp my sentiment before putting the card together. Miracles can happen. Hello. Um, I'm using Season's Greetings, and I did use my Amalgam ink that is no longer available and discontinued by Gina K, but I love it. I know she came out with the Obsidian, and I love that one too, but I really love, <laughs> I really, really do love this Amalgam ink. I'm pulling out that, the mechanism. I wanted the the arms to come back out because I want to stamp the outline of the snow angel that he's making. And if I kept all that in there, it was bumpy. You know, it was off. Now I'm keeping my fingers crossed because of course I have my double-sided foam tape back there. So again, I do things backwards. So I'm going to stamp that and thank God I got a good, good impression. Good impression. Um, so you know, things can happen. I'm going to put my mechanism back in there. And you can see, as you keep working it, it loosens up. All right? It's going to be a little tight, but I'm loving it. It's, it's like a shaker card. You can't help it yourself, right? When you put your bear on top of the arms, you only want to put the glue on that little area in between the two arms. All right? I am using my liquid adhesive to make sure that I've got a good, strong hold. And look, he's making a snow angel. I love it. I just think it is absolutely adorable. Again, they come up with the greatest ideas for interactive cards. <laughs> I just think it's cute. And again, you know, some of these things, they just bring me memories. There you go. See, I'm going to do this forever. I'm going to keep on just wiggling that and, and making sure he makes that. I, um, I was so excited <coughs> with it that I almost forgot to put a scarf on. So we're going to put the scarf on now um, and set that in place up on top and again we're going to keep pulling that mechanism so it did work okay you just got to make sure that your tab that they're pulling is equal to the top you know um, level with that top part um, but it really did work out I, I know this is sped up and I do apologize maybe you can slow it down if you want to see how I did all of that but you can see I'm just having way too much fun pulling that so it's a fun, interactive card. I really enjoyed this, um, and I hope you did too. Remember, this is day seven of my Christmas series for 2020. I hope you are enjoying what we've created so far. I hope you've dug into your stash um, to see what you can make as well, just using the techniques that I'm using here. Again, we focused on Lawn Fawn today, and as always, all the products that I use will be listed down below um, if you want to check them out. If you have a question, make sure you leave that down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Continue to enjoy your day and make sure you smile. Enjoy this time. We are coming into the holidays very quickly. It is already December 3rd, 22 days left for Christmas, um, but enjoy. But remember what's most important for me too. always be creative. Till next time, guys. Take care.